you don't actually have to do that. As far as I'm aware, you can just go up the elevator and continue the story without ever actually going over there. Nice little backstory there. I like it. Stuck on the save sphere, don't mind me. Um, there we go. This is the weirdest elevator I think I've ever seen, by the way. I don't know why it's shaped like this. That just seems bizarre, but whatever. It's not my elevator. They can make it however they want. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes here, and then back-to-back -back boss fights, and then a lot of cutscenes, and a whole lot of story explanation, so... Prepare thyselves. them, huh? Chapu. He left the sword Waka gave him in Besaid. And he fought with an Albed Machina weapon instead. That's got nothing to do with it. I just hate these sacrilegious contraptions. Whatever you say, Waka. Whatever you say. I don't think anyone here gives you anything. You can just kind of, you know, look at the cannons, I guess, if you want. Um, I will be the one to finish Sin off, is what that guy said, apparently. Okay. Good luck with that, I guess. Good luck with that plan also. It's actually a really cool cutscene for this event. To be honest, all of the pre-rendered cutscenes are really cool in this game. Just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. More dialogue? Probably. work anyway don't say that mm. it might be a hopeless campaign and it might mean defying Yevon but the Crusaders and the Albed they're doing their best to defeat sin they want to rid Spira of sin forever and that's just what we want too isn't it isn't it <laughs> all right all right but I still think Mac and I are bad news. They're forbidden for a reason. Lady Summoner, there you are. The command center is that way. Maester Keenock is also there. Maester Keenock too? Yes. Please, hurry, my lady. She's just following us around everywhere. Jeez, woman. We can do it ourselves. I know where I'm going. Sure you will, sir, etc, etc. I don't even know why I'm talking to these people. He is ripping people off. He's got double the prices of everyone else. And then you have this little scene here, which is somewhat touching. I thought you could talk to the kid. There we go. Come on, swing like a man. So yes. There's what appears to be like a seven or eight year old avenging his sister going to fight Sin. So that's a thing that's happening. Um, I'm pretty sure we get a save point in this area, but like after this one is what I'm saying, but we'll save here anyway. 
and I don't think anyone has any fire weapons, so that's kind of a null and void. Oh wait, he does. Heat Lance. You have ice, you have lightning. It doesn't matter what she has. What do you have? Ice, lightning. So he's the only one with actual the weapon. Will begin shortly. I gotta. Please check all your equipment. You all right? Of course not. I came here to fight sin. But they stick me here. If you want to prove yourself. Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. Just doing what they say, it just won't be enough. Now, depending on what you pick here, will change what happens after the events in this area. I, um, don't remember which of these two I picked last time. I believe it was guarding the command center. Uh, so I'm gonna go with you should, well... I'm gonna say he should be out on the front lines as well. Um, it slightly alters a few bits of the timeline, basically, is what it does. That's right. It's not fair. Indeed. Based on what you pick there changes a few uh, bits and bobs as the scene unfolds, basically. Oh. Or, well, after it's unfolded, anyway. I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? <laughs> That's when Kenok, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks, and also commands the crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work. You know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. What? Lord Keenock? Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened the last ten years. What were you doing and where? Fulfilling a promise I made to a friend. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkand? Hm. Hm. I kinda... I think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Albed waiting outside to begin the operation at once. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. Indeed. That's a hint, by the way. Prepare yourselves. It's important you do so. There's two treasure chests, I believe, in this area. There's one, and there's the other one, and whoa! Don't think I should be behind Lulu. In fact, I'm quite sure. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll just glitch through everything, it's fine. And another serene bracer. What do you do? I'm a little nervous. Oh, okay. Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. Hit number two. Go to Yuna. I already did. Chill out. It's fine. He says that a lot, by the way. You talk to him, he'll commence this, the thing. We have the Ancient Machina. The... S the something will succeed? I'm not sh I'm not sure. The Machina will something something. Yevon's teachings are... I was gonna say, Yevon's teachings are for the something, but what would that something be? I don't know. Don't know what that guy said. With them here, it's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. And you don't like it, do you? 
And you just look at me it's funny and stuff. We're actually gonna resave. I thought there was a save inside that area and you couldn't leave it or something like that, but I was just remembering incorrectly. And I don't want to have to rewatch any of that little sequence of events there in case something is horribly wrong. We're going to actually, I should have done this before, but we're gonna start our party with not that. Uh, Waka, Lulu, and Humphrey in the party. We will swap out um, probably Humphrey for Auron. Not too long into the fight. Yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and start the uh, whole chain of events here. So, onward. Mr. Kinok, please. Will Sin come? Sin always returns for its spawn. To make sure, we're going to encourage them to call out to it. You won't have to. It'll come. I remembered Oren telling me. Sin is my old man. Sin is checked. This is why I wanted level 2 fire. This is a boss who fight him twice. He has two arms that regenerate. They have 800 health and are armored. They will protect the body so long as they're alive. The fight ends when the body is killed. It has 12,000 hit points and the head has 4,000 and does some things and stuff. Go ahead and haste Lulu. It seems to have more of an effect when I haste Lulu than when I haste myself, which is weird. The reason I want fire is because this guy is weak to fire. Um, technically weak to fire. That's a plane, my god. And we're gonna focus on its head. So we're just gonna do a whole lot of damage to its head as quickly as possible. I don't think it's actually weak to fire. I think just having fire rod does a ton more damage than fire, but whatever, you know what I mean. Ow. Basically, we're going to be trying our best to wipe out the head as quickly as possible, because that'll reduce a ton of the damage coming in. Especially from doing this, which is when it casts Venom, I believe. That I, can hit it. I know, that's why you're here, you imbecile. Let's go ahead and haste Waka. Who hopefully doesn't immediately die after doing this. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and give him an item. Give him a high potion. Just so he doesn't die. I really don't even need Waka in this fight. He's just there for that little, yeah, that little tiny bit more damage. It's primarily going to be Auron, either Kamari, Kamari or Titus, and Lulu doing damage in this fight. And Yuna will come in uh, not too long from now. He's got 1k left. Go ahead and keep hitting it. Ow. Casting uh, focus in this fight might not be a terrible idea, and once this head is down, which is going to be Waka's 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 job here, we're going to cast uh, focus a couple times with Lulu. And yes, it knows gravity. You swap to um swap to Arn. And Auron will haste himself. This is the advantage of Auron, no Auron knowing haste. I'm, my ability to speak is basically null at this point. Um, I believe we can attack the body with magic without it being blocked. Yeah, you just can't attack it with... Actually, I'm going to move Yuna in. It's going to slightly screw things up. Oh, right, he doesn't have his uh, overdrive anymore, does he? Hmm. Shouldn't have used it. We'll leave Yuna in the party for now. Uh, as long as you're not physically attacking the body, then it's not going to be blocked, which is good. She has an overdrive, which, again, I'm complete garbage at, but we'll see. 
Come on. Seven. I got seven. Woo. I suppose it was actually kind of beneficial that it hit the hands so many or the arms so many times. The arms respawn every I'm gonna stop Kamarian. The arms respawn every like three turns, I think, that it takes. That's why I swapped Kamarian, by the way, if you're curious. I'm not sure exactly the number, but I believe it's every three turns the arms will respawn, so it gives you a bit of time to get some damage in. Ow. I should probably power break him if I can, because that hits like a truck. In fact, it may one-shot Lulu. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I meant to focus with her, didn't I? Now it's definitely going to one-shot her. Um, Yuna, come heal for us, will you? Let's go ahead and power break it, assuming it's not immune to power break. This is actually a fairly long and fairly difficult fight. Mostly from the sheer HP this thing has, especially if you don't have Fyra, because then your damage is going to be somewhere in the 300 to 400 range for everybody. So that's obviously no good. Um, we're going to summon a horse. I was going to wait and get Yuna's overdrive and just use that to give the summon the overdrive, but this is not one of those fights where I need the overdrive instantly anyway. Just attack it should be fine. It's power broken, so... And it missed, which just filled up half of our overdrive gauge, and then its arms came back, which is going to be perfect timing. Because we're just going to overdrive this thing and it'll kill the arms for us, which is perfect. Although, actually, it's just going to get a bunch of turns, so it's probably not going to actually do anything. It'll probably just regenerate the arms, to be honest. That miss. You keep missing, man. You're bad. You scrub. I like the shortened animations. I like the fact that they give you an option for shortened animations on this crap. That overkill. The arms do give you experience, by the way. I believe every time you kill them, so... Could be mistaken on the every time you kill them bit, but they do give you experience. Please miss twice so I can get another overdrive. Uh, mm. You know, if we're just gonna do this, there's the arms again. Where's my black magic? Cast black cast fire on yourself. Here we go. Give us enough health to survive another attack here. Of course he uses Demi. Can you stop using Demi? It's garbage. I think we could keep Agors alive indefinitely here. Just hit something, it doesn't really matter. Just take a turn, basically, is what I'm going for here. Oh, for God's sake, with the Demi. Doesn't even do as much damage as his normal attack. He just keeps using it. How much health does he have? 3,800. This might kill it. I'm not sure. Don't remember how much damage we did last time. Oh, so close. I'm going to keep a gorse out. I believe everyone has acted, right? Ouch. The reason I want to keep him out is because I want to get the overkill on this. And a gorse is really, or well, one of the summons is really the only way I'm going to get an overkill on it. I hate Demi with a passion. Primarily because it gives you no overdrive compared to just getting hit. Or getting, try, try to be hit there. Like this. Perfect. Arms are back, doesn't matter, we're just going to overkill them again. And this is the end of the fight, so... Fun times. You'll get the AP after the end of this second fight, much like when you have other bosses back to back. That fight went really well, and we're gonna get a ton of experience from it because we've overkilled everything but the head. I wish we had overkilled the head, but whatever. It's not too bad.
Look out! Stand back, Lady Yuna. Yes. Welcome to boss fight number two with this guy. Uh, much easier than the first one. He has drastically reduced health. Um, his head is cut in fourth, his body is cut in half. And you have Seymour, who has effectively infinite black magic and... Or, well, effectively infinite magic for this purpose. Uh, and he hits like a truck. So... This is technically the only point in the game where you can see his overdrive, and you can see how much he hits for. But it's nothing special, um, so there's not really a whole lot you're going to miss there. Yuna's job in this fight is to heal people. Auron's job is to basically just stand here and look pretty. I'm actually going to haste Seymour. Usually you wouldn't have haste in this fight, and that's going to make the fight even easier, considering now we'll just have this guy. He also has uh, level 2 white magic, by the way. If you just feel like having that, I guess. You can overkill every part of his body with Seymour in this fight. It's ridiculous. I should actually just have him hit the um, body, but I'm going to take the arms out too. Excuse me, pardon. That'll at least allow um, Auron to get some damage in there, which is not going to be very much. He only has 6,000 hit points, and considering Seymour hit for 30 or 1,300 every time, more or less, you can basically just let him handle it. If you want to waste time, uh, filling out his overdrive gauge, a decent way to do it would be to kill the other two party members. So it's just him and the group, but again, you're not missing a whole lot, and I don't have the time nor patience to do that. So we're just gonna nuke him down the old-fashioned way. Seymour can keep himself alive is why you would kill the other two party members, and overkill and dead, and more cutscenes and stuff. Plus the experience, I believe, is given in this fight. Don't worry, we'll be hitting for harder than that eventually. Look at that experience, oh my god. Such XP. Why did Yuna and Kamari get so much? I'm not sure. Anyway! You can see why I like overkilling everything in that fight, it's quite fun. But anyway, you know, more cutscenes and stuff coming up. Lots of level 1 Q-Spheres, lots of Gil, a Dozing Blade, which I'll never use.
You'll notice they did actually break Sin's shield there. Just didn't quite do it quick enough. What's going on? Why? What? What's going on? Run away from me! idea what I was thinking when I ran after Sin that day. Before I knew what I was doing, there I was, chasing him down like a thief at market. Maybe I was angry. Maybe I wanted to go home. I kept thinking of Xanarkand and my old man.
What? They say you don't practice as more. That you're gonna retire. Let, Let them talk. talk. I'm, I'm still, still the best. best. They say you're no good because you drink all the time. I can quit drinking whenever I want. Then do it now. What did you say? You just said you can't. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe. Why not today? Why do today what you can leave for tomorrow? There he goes again, crying. I thought I sensed my old man there. Somewhere. Or maybe it was just Sin's toxin playing tricks on my mind. <sighs> How many died today? People die and Yuna dances. When will she stop dancing? When will it stop? Yuna won't stop dancing. Not until Sin is gone. Those were my thoughts then. I think. I see you're still here. Huh? Many stories ended here today. But... Yours goes on, I see. What? Sin had come and gone, but I remained here. Indeed. And from this point, uh, there is no... As far as I'm remembering, is there? Maybe there is a quick way, but... It's not exactly an easy way to get back from where we came from. You were in so. contact with Sin again. The toxin. Are you okay? Not really. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this. This is actually going to be split in half because this is about an hour or ten long, which is obviously a bit too long for me to upload, but especially this quality. If it was a lower quality, it'd be fine. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Next time we're going to head over to the next temple, which isn't very far away. We may even do it next time. Who knows? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.